keywords are key to SEO, keyword research, LSI keywords, and so on and so forth. How do you implement that into a e-commerce strategy? How do you do the e uh, the keyword research? Yeah, so I'll, I'll actually talk about one of my clients for this. Um, they were, I'm going to keep them anonymous, but we'll talk about them in, in, in big picture here. They came to me and they thought that they had done a pretty good job of optimizing their products. And so they said, oh, you know, we keep it, we've kept it in mind. We've optimized this around, you know, let's say uh, CBD gummies or something. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out that the intent for CBD gummies, short tail, was a little bit mismatched for the pages that we're trying to rank for. So instead, they had to optimize the page around, okay, um, CBD gummies for something else. Maybe it's CBD gummies for pain, right? And so let's go that just that little bit longer tail, and you find some keywords that actually have intent that aligns with shopping pages. Now, within that page, there's going to be the LSI keywords. And so I think when, when a lot of people think LSI keywords, they think sort of secondary keywords or variations of that core keyword, right? And so, yeah, you want to naturally work those into the page. You can use tools to help with this, something like a surfer SEO. But I think the most important thing when we're talking about how do you build these into the shopping environment is to make sure that the core keyword that you're targeting actually has shopping intent. And a really easy way to do that is to just sort of brainstorm, hey, what are the keywords I'm thinking about? And then search in Google and see what pops up. If it's a bunch of shopping pages, you're probably good to go. If it's not, and you probably want to target something else. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Makes totally sense. Which brings me to the question. I get a ton of inbound emails from LinkedIn, uh, from linked building companies and I don't know, Fiverr gigs, whatsoever that are reaching out. So we do your <laughs> oh, SEO. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going for any of these because I know SEO, as you said, is, is a quality thing and you need to have a good understanding on what the brand is what the product is what's your approach what are your process steps when you start working with a client to to get up to speed yeah i mean so the first the first part is just sort of a basic audit uh you know we, we come in we have an interview and we say okay what are the most important things to you and then we'll start with an audit now, I think audits are a little bit overblown in the SEO industry. Everybody comes in and they give you this super comprehensive audit. And it's like almost like the goal is to put as many things on the list as you can. And you're just like, boom, I have a spreadsheet. It's got 2,000 rows. We crushed it. You know, what I realized, you know, and I, I did this with a client. I did this with clients in the past where I would give them these huge spreadsheets, hand it off to their internal team, and none of it would get done. Okay. And then I would push and push and we'd finally get through it. And really about 20% of the stuff that we were doing was driving 80% of the results. And so I said, how do we just find that? How do we find the 20% that's just going to drive the 80% of results? And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check on the basics of the site, right? Like, is it fast? Um, are you? Do you have a plugin that's creating a ton of extra pages that you don't want to be there? Happens a lot on Shopify, surprisingly, you know, um, anything like that. Fix that 20% try and implement it and then do another round, right? It almost always needs a couple of rounds of implementation to be completely fixed. So we get into it very quickly. We do an audit, we get into that. And then as soon as the audit is done and we're implementing some of that technical stuff, then we get started on the content side, looking at the copywriting on the pages, content in the blogs, content marketing, all of that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. 